It's not often that my old friend Dan is in town. So to get both Dans free for a wild camping adventure is quite summer. Destination, smugglers trod in the heart of the North York Moors. Situation, hiking, wild camping and photography on my part, if I'm lucky. Execution, walk and sleep where we stop. An unusual fashion of this channel, it doesn't quite go to plan. So buckle up and enjoy. This is our wild camping adventure. So we set off at uh, Robin Hood's Bay, probably about, what did you say, about an hour ago. Um, so it's about half three now, we're hoping to get set up somewhere for about half five, six I would, well I'd personally hope anyway. And then, um, yeah, we should, uh, we're making good, we're making good progress anyway, we've been walking like I said for about an hour or so. And, uh, just sort of done like a, 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 a sort of triangular pincer sort of track along the uh, along the moorland then we're sort of heading back in now was, yeah so we're about four mile off now and then we're gonna go up to uh, Falling Foss and then find a little camping spot up there uh, photography wise it's, uh, it's all a bit flat and a bit dull at the moment the sky's nice but there might be some opportunities towards sunset but at the moment, camera's away. Not really much point having it out around here. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Two days of camping and hiking. You just can't beat it. Isn't it? Three miles to Little Beck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous for the photography, is this? screen for you now. Couple of little shots there. I'll just let them wander up ahead a bit. Just so I can uh, Grab a couple of shots. Ah, oh, it's just gorgeous. So we're walking towards Little Beck now, uh, a couple of miles in. Just sort of keeping my eye out for one of these little lone trees because they look stunning. <sighs> Nothing separating the uh, trees really. Uh, this one's quite an interesting little character. These are little Scotch pine. A nice little scene here. So I've gone for the wall and then the path leading off. So 
So I'm just grabbing a nice little shot here. Got a really nice sky to work with. So I'll put it on F13. Um, ISO 320, just to give me that high shot speed. Nothing quite like a picture of a Scotch pine. I'll pop it on screen for you now. got another one here like there's pictures everywhere pop that one on as well So with this nice sort of side light it's just absolutely stunning everywhere you look it's just a gorgeous picture just the side light on there is just absolutely something else right i better get matched i'll pop it on screen and i'll pop any more that i get on and um, I'll, uh, I'll be back with you shortly. Uh, so it's about half five. We're uh, heading down now to uh, Little Beck. It's just absolutely gorgeous. We're, uh, we just sat at the top for half an hour, just sort of soaking it in with something to eat. I'm ready for a uh, good old camp and some food. Just right next to this water source, it's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Well, hello. It's um, it's about half past ten. We've had our tea. I had like a a stew, a broth thing. Uh, Dan's had a little sleep, and we've got the uh, camp set up. So I'll just give you a little uh, little tour. Uh, so that's where I am. That's Dan's tent. There's Dan. Hello. How's it going? Yeah. He's a lot better now. He's had a bit of a sleep. He had a bit of a heavy light last night. And then uh, the other Dan's in a uh, sort of bivvy bag. And then we've got the uh, got the river here. We've just been using his uh, 
water filter and just getting water out of here and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna be sound for tonight plenty of water then we're about um we're about 15 minute walk from falling foss so uh, hopefully in the morning we're gonna go and get a breakfast uh be really nice if we can get some photos in the morning but you know i'm here for the party so to speak so but yeah absolutely fantastic uh anything happens i'll uh, i'll keep you updated Good morning. We uh, we slept till well. Dan Dan number two was up about a couple of hours ago. Uh, uh, it's about half nine now. Uh, we're uh, we're probably about fifteen minutes from um, falling fast. Uh, slept pretty well. It was bloody cold though, and uh, I was just I slept next to this. Uh, you can hear it, little river, so that was uh, creating some strange dreams for me. Um, but yeah, it's been great. Uh, we had a few beers, loads and loads of food. And um, yeah, so we're going to get tidied up, make sure we don't leave any trace. And uh, we're going to get ourselves to Falling Foss, see if we can get some photos. Aye, so it's an uh, squeeze water filter system by Sawyer. And that's uh, really peat, peat water, so it's quite brown when it first goes in and it's, uh, it's cleared it up nicely. Just enough to get us going this morning. We have <coughs> Dan the Man and some <laughs> bacon. Bobbling bacon. Bobbling bacon, perfect. And that, this is the view. And we're off. Leave nothing but flat grass and all that jazz. So, the uh, next stop for us is uh, Falling Foss Cafe, hopefully. And then, uh, and then we're going to go and visit Falling Foss. Maybe have a dip. There's Dan, taking one foot team, he's got the rubbish bag with him, legend. I think there's a bin up here, when we get to uh, Falling Foss we'll get rid of it there, can't we? Aye, we can smell the food already, I bet it's not even open, you know. Oh, spotted. Oh.
Ah, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Open to there. 10 till 4. There's a barista at the back. Let's put my uh, rubbish on. You're going to have to say it a bit louder, Dan, because I didn't quite hear you. Like and subscribe. Nice. You heard the man. Like and subscribe. So, we did it. We walked from uh, Robin Hood's Bay to Slight. And uh, next stop is shop or pub, whatever comes first. Thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.